my channel. So in today's video, I did this makeup look on my face and I use the new Makeup Geek Manny MUA palette, which looks like this. It is honestly the most perfect palette in my opinion. They're definitely shades that I use day to day. Well, not so much these two, but these shades I use on a day to day basis. So it's perfect for traveling. It's so small. The actual eyeshadows, actually no, they are the same size. When I first opened the palette, I thought the pans of the eyeshadows were smaller than the original pans, but I think they are the same size. So yeah, if you would like to see how I created this look on my face, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm as a primer. I'm going to try and use different products in this video because I tend to use the same products. So I'm going to give some new products a go and some old ones that I haven't used in ages. So I'm just going to pop that on. I've actually used this primer before and I liked it. I just have so many primers that I forget to use it. So I'm going to try and start using it again because it's so affordable. And I actually really like the smell of it. <laughs> so for foundation, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris True Match, which is apparently the new one. Uh, and I'm going to use the colour Sable Sand. And I'm going to use my so Eva Buffer Brush. I haven't used a Kabuki brush to put on foundation in so long. So, oh, it's like really hard. Whoops, there's probably still foundation on it. I hope this colour matches me. I'm just going to go over that with my beauty blender. So to conceal my under eyes, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me because let's be real, I haven't found a concealer that I like as much as this. So I'm just going to use this to highlight my under eye area. Okay, to set my under eye area, I'm going to use the MAC Pro Emphasize, which just looks like this. It just comes in a pan, not in a palette. Um, I got it because Jaclyn Hill says she loves it, so I'm going to give it a go. And I'm going to pack that underneath my eyes to set my concealer. Oh, it's like really white. Is it just me or does it have glitter in it? It's probably ideal for paler skin types, but because I'm quite tanned at the moment, it's literally coming up really white on me. I'm not really digging the coverage of this powder, so I'm just going to go ahead and bake with the Laura Mercier translucent powder just on my beauty blender. I'm just putting that over the top of my concealer. I just think the baking technique works the best for my creasing underneath my eyes. It literally makes the concealer creaseless all day and night and I know I just love the way that it looks underneath my eyes. It's really silky and it just looks nice and vibrant and fresh. <laughs> and to set the rest of my face I'm using the Astralis Fresh and Flawless as per usual. I'm using the colour Medium Tan which is the darkest colour. It's not that dark though. Like if you have really dark skin it's probably going to be too light for you like this is the color um but i'm using that because my foundation was a tad too light so i'm just gonna warm up my face with this okay so now i'm gonna wipe off the bake i don't like to keep it on for too long because i feel like sometimes you can kind of see the line where the bake was so yeah i just wipe that away after a few minutes not even a minute maybe like 30 seconds actually Okay, so to bronze, I'm going to use my new MAC 135 brush, which is absolutely amazing. I don't know why I didn't pick it up sooner. I wanted this brush like a year ago, and I literally couldn't justify the price of like $80 for it. But with my MAC Pro card, I only got it for like $65, so I could kind of justify that. So I just bit the bullet and bought it, and it is literally the best bronzing brush ever. So I'm going to use that with MAC Give Me Sun. It's kind of grown on me. The first time I used it, I was like, ugh... This bronzer looks really, really orangey, but now I really, really like it, especially with this brush. So I'm just going to warm up my face. See, look at that. It already looks contoured. 
I'm just going around my forehead as well. My cheeks underneath my double chin. Oh, I just love this bronzer now. I'm like obsessed with it. I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to go in with Hoola by Benefit. And I'm just going to use that to chisel my cheeks a little bit more. I swear I don't even need a contouring brush. Like this is amazing. I'm just going to go ahead and contour up my nose also using Hoola. I'm just using this Jessup brush that I got from eBay and just lightly contouring my nose. I wish I knew how to contour my nose properly. My nose is so, so hard to contour. For the blush, I recently got the Warm Soul blush, which looks like this. It's not, it's kind of like a bronzer, but with like corally undertones and it's kind of glittery as well I can't really explain it to be honest as you guys maybe already know I'm not really much of a blush person like I only wear the littlest bit because I don't think it suits me but I think this blush is like the perfect pigment and color for my skin tone like it's not too bright and it's not too dark if that makes any sense at all so for highlight I'm gonna use the new Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit well not really new but recently new um, and I'm going to use the color Dipping in Gold for my highlight. I'm so, oop, that was really loud. I'm so excited. Oh, what is life right now? This color is gold. It reminds me a lot of um, the So Hollywood highlighter. I think I put a bit too much on, but oh well. Just going to put a bit on my nose. That is the base done. I'm going to zoom you guys up so you can see what I'm doing better on the eyes. So the palette that I will be using today is the new Makeup Geek Cosmetics Manny MUA Collab Palette, which looks amazing. I'm so, so, so excited to do this tutorial. I've used this palette a few times actually, and I'm obsessed with it already. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off with Beaches and Cream, which is this lovely transition shade. I'm just popping that in my crease and sort of upper crease area. Just so when we put the darker colors on, it's just going to blend really well and look nice and seamless. So then I'm gonna grab Sora, which is the middle shade, which is really, really similar to Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek, which is one of my favorite transition shades. And I'm just also using that in my crease. So now I'm gonna do my brow bone highlight and I'm gonna use this shade, which is called Artemis. I hope I pronounced that right. And I'm just going to pop that on my brow bone. Oh, this is so pigmented, yes. Next up, I'm gonna take Luna, which is this gorgeous coppery color. This might be a bit gross, but I love to use my finger for packing on heaps of product because I think the pigment sort of looks the best when I do that. So I'm just popping a bit on my finger and packing that basically on my whole lid. So that's what I'm doing. Speaking of fingers and eyeshadow, did you see that post that I posted on Instagram with that client with the most horrible makeup I've ever seen and apparently she used her fingers. Like what makeup artist in their right mind would use her fingers? I kind of think that was a bit of a joke because like how the fuck do you do eyeliner with your fingers and eyebrows but in the back of my mind I'm kind of thinking sh that makeup artist posted that for likes because she got like I don't know like 5,000 likes on that photo and she would have got new likes on her page so I kind of think she might have done it for the followers or the likes on her Facebook. I don't know, that's just my opinion anyways. But yeah, I don't know if that was a joke or if it was real, but if it was real, then that's not on, honestly. Okay, I'm just getting rid of that excess fallout. 
with a big brush. Now the lid colors on, I'm just going to go in with that blending brush and blend it all together in with the transition color. So now I'm just gonna go in and blend that color out. It's gonna go in with a clean blending brush and blend those colors together. I'm gonna take a bit more of Aphrodite and just work that on the outer corner. Now I'm gonna take Artemis again and put that in my inner corner area. Oh, this shade is so pigmented. I'm in love. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Schwing Eyeliner by The Balm. And I think I'm gonna do like a medium sort of style wing. So I'm just gonna start at the tail. So while I'm waiting for the top eyeliner to dry, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline um, Eye Studio. And I'm going to place this in my waterline. So I'm going into the palette again and I'm going to go in with the middle shade, which is called Sora. Just on a small tapered brush. I'm going to use that as like a transition shade for my lower lash line, so I'm just gonna pop that on. And then I'm gonna go in with Aphrodite, which is the dark brown color, and smoke out the bottom lash line. So for mascara, I'm gonna use the Essence I Love Extreme. Just going to put a coat of that on for my falsies. So for lashes, I'm going to use the House of Lashes Iconic. I bought this little lash case with my last order and I just popped them in here. It's so perfect for traveling and look how cute it is. So I'm going to grab one of those lashes. This is what the lashes look like. They are honestly the most amazing lashes when you're going for like a more dramatic look. So for glue, I use the House of Lashes Lash Glue. It's my favorite glue and it always will be. It's seriously like super glue. So I thought while I'm using Manny's palette on the eyes, I may as well use his liquid lipstick that he made with Gerard Cosmetics, which is just an amazing sort of dusty pinky nude. So to line my lips, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris 630 Beige Lip Liner. So I kind of want glossy lips with this look, so I'm going to go ahead and put on the Balm Lip Gloss in the shade Bam, which is pretty similar to the liquid lipstick. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and comment below what you would like to see next, and I guess I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.